welcome back to another review. So today we're doing the Illamasqua Hydra Veil Rehydrating Gel. This stuff retails for 45 bucks, which is kind of crazy expensive, not gonna lie, but I got it in a Nipsey box. Well, in the, what was it? The Plus box, I think. Like when they first rolled it out, it was in one of the first boxes I got. And it's one of those things where it's just like, I was both intrigued by it, but almost a little scared of it for some reason, and put off actually using it for the longest time. And having just finished up that La Vie, whatever it was, moisturizer, I was like, I need to put something else in the skincare fridge. Screw it, it's time to do the thing. So, rolled it in, not inside the box, I actually took it out and put it in the thing. Uh, so this is one fluid ounce, which again, kind of a lot of money for something that costs 45 bucks. But yeah, this best-selling clear gel instantly helps skin feel hydrated and smooth. The lightweight, water-based formula is quickly absorbed by the skin and is the perfect base for long wear foundation application, leaving your skin looking flawless. The clear gel is infused with vitamin B3 and sodium hyaluronate that holds more than a thousand times its weight in water, which I believe we have talked about on this channel before. Um, perfect for moisturizing your skin. Acmella oleracea extract instantly blurs appearance of fine lines and makes your skin look smoother. So, it is vegan, 79% of people agree it hydrates and smooths the skin, 85% of people agree it protects against dryness, 81% of people agree it minimizes the look of pores, 92% of people agree it creates a perfect canvas for foundation application. Consumer test on 50 people, dermatologically tested. So, the actual jar looks like this. And yes, it has fingerprints all over it because I've been using it. So, the crazy thing with this little jar. So, you open it up. We have a little spoon on top. That honestly, when I first got it, it was rattling around loose in there. But, um, it does kind of slide right back in place when you want it to. Um... Took me a while to figure out how to get it back off after I put it on there, because I'm an idiot, but... But the crazy thing with it, you open it up, and it's this jelly... Can we even see it on camera in the black? Like, it literally feels straight up like jello. It's so crazy to me. But you just use one little scooper full of this for your whole face. Now, I've tried it both ways, just as a moisturizer on its own, as well as a primer for makeup. I'm not going to put makeup on. It's like 7 p.m. There is no point doing that this late in the day. But, um, all I've got on right now is some toner. So, you scoop it up. And the crazy thing is that this will self-heal itself in that spot that you just scooped it out of. Like, probably within a few minutes, probably while I am recording this, it'll do the thing. So I'm going to close that lid and just set the spoon down. Um, you can either apply it with a brush or with your hands. I like to kind of just smooth it between my fingers on both hands and apply all over my face. As one does. And it's weird because it does feel like you're smearing jelly everywhere. It's really weird. I'll even go down the neck too. But um, that little bitty spoonful, it didn't look like much was. It did not look like it was going to be much. But that does your whole dang face. Like straight up whole face. So let me go ahead and put that spoon back on the thing. Come on, it's slippery right now. And, um, goes right on. It's already starting to heal just in that length of time. And it'll totally be fixed in probably like five minutes, but I'm going to go ahead and put the cap back on. Um, now you will note that there is a slightly tacky feel to it. That doesn't, like, stay like that the whole time it's on your skin. It does take a little bit. For that to drink into your skin but it is amazing how quickly your skin will drink this up like they're not lying and when it does it just it really does create this awesome glowy effect um and if you do put foundation over it which i try just for the sake of being able to see what it's like um as a primer 
I've tried it both with liquid foundation and with powder, and it really does go on smoothly over it. But I will say caveat, if you do powder, wait for it to be 100% dry. <laughs> like, totally damn dry. If it's even still a little sticky, it's gonna kind of... You, you can guess what it would do with powder, but... But for liquid, it's not as picky. Actually, that slight grippiness kind of helps a little when it comes to liquid stuff, but... Just saying. But even if you just use it as a normal moisturizer, like my dudes, it does awesome things for your skin. Granted, I've only been using this so so far for like maybe a week, so I can't speak to like, does it like really, really improve it over like long-term usage? I don't know yet. Uh, it remains to be seen. I, I would imagine probably not too terribly much on like a permanent basis, but it is like hyaluronic acid in there. So it always is like a pronounced improvement when you put it on. Like I already see a difference just that fast, which is amazing. Let's see how healed it is now. I just... I'm so tripped out. Yeah, see? 100% healed. It's like magic. <laughs> I will never stop tripping out over that, my dudes. Never. But I really like this. Uh, for the price point, it is a little steep for a daily moisturizer as just a moisturizer. But I would say if you want it as a primer, it's probably reasonable. I don't usually wear foundation on a daily basis. It's kind of like a special occasions thing for me. But, um... But... On the other hand, I'm not going to turn my nose up at it when I've been given it in an Ipsy box, so I don't mind using it as a daily moisturizer, at least until I've run out. I don't know that I would repurchase it, but I would think if I wore foundation on a more uh, regular basis, I would actually consider, I would consider shelling up 45 bucks for it because it really does lay down super nicely. I don't think I've ever had that kind of luck with a primer before. Maybe I've just used really shitty primers in the past. I don't know, but this one is hella nice. Like, even my under eye bags, like, don't look as bad since putting that on just a couple minutes ago. It's insane. But that is the magic of hyaluronic acid, my dudes. So, anyway, I personally give it a 5 out of 5 stars, but that's just me. So, what do you guys think? Have you used this before? If so, what are your thoughts on it, good, bad, or otherwise? Leave it all down below. Otherwise, you know the drill. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you like to be, click subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my Etsy. Everything and more, it's all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. Anyway, guys, till next time. See ya.